Welcome to uh, our very first mill program in MTTC 107. I'm speaking mostly to Hunter, Craig, and Virgil. Uh, so it's time to start it, so I had to make a little video to show you how to do this stuff. So here's the part we're going to do. This is mill lab number one. You can find this in the modules. It'll be under mill lab number one, download, so you can look at it, download it, print it, what have you. Uh, and here I've got some of the program going. So I will post most of what I've got right here as an example for you to see how to, you know, get your program started. But after that, I'm going to program this, but after that you're going to have to program the rest. Then there'll be a link also in that same module that you found this lab where you will upload it. Uh, if you have any trouble, you know, you're just going to have to email me. But seriously, it's not that hard. All right, so of course we start with a percent sign, always. Then our program name, capital O, followed by four to five numbers, depending on what you want. There it says program name. Remember, put it in the comment statements right there. This is nothing that the computer will read. Okay, so our safety line is a little bit different mill than it was in the lathe. Uh, first off, we've got our G00. That's fine. Uh, we're going to put it in rapid. G17, we we're going to do arcs in the XY plane instead of the G18, which was the XZ plane. G20 means, of course, we're going to be doing our stuff in English. G40 uh, means we're going to cancel any cutter comp. Now, we're not going to use cutter comp this time, so this is not going to make a real part. It's just to get you in the formatting, things like that. So don't freak out about it. It'll look great. All right. So that's what the G40 does. Uh, the G80, of course, cancels any can cycles. And the G90 is something that's different. We haven't seen that before. Uh, that is going to put this in absolute coordinates, which it means everything is going to become from this point. Now, this point right here, okay, is our X0, Y0 point. Notice I'm going over from here. That's X0, Y0. Okay, and Z0 is going to be on top of the part. So we go over our points real quick. This is going to be point 0.1. Point two, point three, point four, point five, point six, point seven, and point eight. Now you do not have to upload anything except the program, but I highly recommend that you do the setup sheets and that you do the coordinate sheets yourself. That's something it's just up to you totally. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So let's talk about back up to here. The next after we get past our safety line. And we know the G90 says everything comes from X0, Y0, and Z0. G54 is going to activate those, so it means it's going to tell the machine that that's where it's at. Always put that there. Please let it stand on its own. That'll be great. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is a tool change. So tool change is different on the mill than it is on the lathe. Uh, it's a little more involved. First off, we get a tool number. We're going to use tool number one. I think that's the first tool. Okay. We're going to do all of this with a 500 thousandths diameter end mill. All right, so T01 will tell it to go to tool number one. M06 will tell it to change that. So uh, you can also program as a T1 or an M6, and it doesn't matter if the M06 or the, is here and the T01 is here. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep it like that because that's the way I do it. All right, M03, spindle on forward. Now, this is not a realistic RPM. We're going to talk about how to calculate RPMs. You've already been doing that for drills. It's the exact same thing for mills, so you're not going to have any problem with that. Anyway, we're going to run it at 1,000 RPM. Remember, no decimal points. Don't put that in there. Spend it along clockwise at 1,000 RPM. Now, the next thing that we have to have here, line 25, this is where we're going to activate our tool length offset. Now, that on the lathe, that was done with T0101, which would make, 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 would make a lot of sense if they did it here, but they don't. So you have to put a G43 there, always, and it's got to be done in a move. So we're going to wrap it Z down to within one inch of the part, and we're going to activate tool length offset H01. Now this number H01 and T01 always have to be the same. So if this was a T02, this would be an H02, etc, etc. All right. Again, I'm not going to go over that a hundred times. Trust me. These numbers have to match. If they don't, it won't work and you will crash terribly bad. Okay. So always do that. So this, all of this, your program's always going to start like this. All right. Except, of course, you're going to change things like spindle speeds and and uh, stuff like that. Next thing I'm going to do is we're already in rapid right here. G00 is modal, so it's active. We're going to wrap it to X0, 
y0 and z.1. So we're going to wrap it to 100 thousandths above the part and we're going to turn the coolant on. Good. Turn that coolant on. Yeah. Okay. Now, since I said this wasn't going to be a real part, we're just going to go right down these center lines. So here, look at this little thing. This is like what we're going to do. Mill, 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 mill. I'm not going to give you all kinds of stuff like that. Right to there, to there. Okay, then we're going to plunge, 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 mill, mill. Be done with it. Okay, so we're going to always rapid to our x0, y0, and z.1. That's always going to be the first thing you do too, so just always do that. My next move right here, line 35, I am going to go ahead, all right, turn the GO1 on. That's linear interpolation, means I'm going to make a move at a controlled feed rate. And I'm bringing Z down 130 thousandths. This part's 125 thousandths thick, so that's 5 thousandths thicker than we need. And I'm going to do that at 2.5 inches per minute. Again, this is probably not a realistic feed rate. Later on, we're going to talk about how to calculate feed rates, you know, based on cutting speeds and uh, feed per tooth. Don't worry about that right now. Okay, so once we've got Z down, we're ready to take our first cut. So we're going to go from point 0.1 to point 0.2. All right, so G01, it's modal, but I'm just going to keep putting it on there for sake of demonstration. So I'm already at X0. You don't have to put that in there, but if it keeps you straight, that's fine. Put it in there, X0 point, and we're going to move to Y3.5. The feed is modal, but again, just for this, I will maintain it. There we go. New line. If you haven't hit Control S lately, uh, good time to do that. I probably ought to do that right now. Control S, and I'm just going to save this to the Dex desktop and call it uh, video. Or, I don't know. Mill lab number one. V for video. All right. And so I know exactly what I'm doing. Save it. Great. There it's saved. Now all I have to do after this point is just hit Control S. You're working at home. You don't have to save it to your USB, but I would recommend you do that. And we never know when we're going to come back, if it ever. All right. So now we're right here. So new line, right? In 45 space. I'm going to go this time to this point. So I went to point two, now I'm going to go to point three. So I'm going to go G01. Don't have to keep doing that, but I will. And X is going to go to two. And Y is going to stay at 3.5. Again, you do not have to. If you put 3.5 up here, you don't have to put it down here. But hey, guess what? I'm doing it because this is the first time you've seen this. And again, the feed rate is modal. That means it does not change. So. Hit control S, good time. New line in 50. Space. Okay, again, another G01. Don't need to do it, but that's what I'm going to do. So I went to point 2, 3, this is point 4. Now point 4, this time we're going to have to move two axes because we're making an angle here. So I'm going to move to X 3 inches. By the way, I should put an X here, shouldn't I? Yep. There we go. Control S to save that. So let's do that again. So X 3.0 space and Y is going to be, if you look, 1.75. Okay, and again, I'll just keep the feed rate right in there so everybody's happy. Control S to save it in 55 space G01. We're not doing any arcs. This is just straight line moves. Later on, they'll get more difficult as we go. So I went to point, I started at point one, went to point two, went to point three, went to point four. Now I'm going to go to point five. So G01, point five. X is still three inches. Space. Y at this point is zero. Zero period. Oops, better put a Y there. Y, zero period, and I'll populate my feed rate even though I don't have to. Control S, new line, in 60, space, space, G, zero, one. Okay, so now I want to go back to point one. So point one is X, zero, X, zero. And I'm already at Y0, but again, I'm going to put that in there just for the sake of demonstration. And I've already programmed the feed rate. I don't have to do that. So 
all I'd have to do is give it a G01, or actually a G1X0 point. Now, remember, some controls don't require the point, but ours does. Or, yes, ours does. Okay, Control S. New line. I just finished the contour. Now, I'm going to do this real quick here so that you can get some extra stuff in here. This is point two. This is point three. This would have been point four. This would have been, I'll tab that over there, point five. And I'll tab this one over there, and this one would be point one again, because that's where we're starting. Remember, you can put anything in there that you want as long as it's in the parentheses, control S. So I just did it, milled from there to there to there to there to there to there. All geo-1s, all pretty simple stuff. Now, remember, a lot of this is sufflurious. You don't have to have all this extra stuff in here, but I highly recommend that you do that while you're first learning. Okay. So in 65 space, now what are we going to do? Well, we went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I want to go to 6. I'm going to point to point 6. So the first thing I'm going to do is G00. I'm going to bring Z up because if I move right now from here to there without bringing Z up, I'm going to break my damn end mill. And I don't want to break my end mill. So G01, G00, excuse me, Z.1. Yeah, this is fun doing this. <laughs> I'll get better. Z.1. That's all I have to do. That line right there. Z comes up. New line in 70 space. Now the G00 can no longer be active because now all I'm going to do is I'm going to plunge. Look over here to the left. I'm going to plunge right here in the location of this slot. Realistic? Probably not. I would center drill then drill. There's lots of different ways to make slots. We'll talk about that later. But I'm going to give it a G01, okay, and we're going to go Z minus 130 again at F2.5, okay. Now, that right there, okay, if I did that, what did I do? I just wrapped it up and I fed right back down. That is not correct. I got to move into position, right? hoping you'd check, catch that. So I'm already at G00, so I'll do it again. G00, so I'm going to go to this point. So it's going to be X, uh, let me see, 1. And Y is going to be 0.75. Put the Y in there. Yeah, X, X, one inch, y, 0.75. Okay, now that is going to be point, I'm wrapped, I moved to point 0.6, so let's put point 0.6 in there. Control S, haven't hit that for a while. New line in 80. Okay, so now I want to feed down. So G01 space Z minus 0 0.130. Is this zero necessary? No, but do it anyway because you're just starting out. Okay, and F of 2.5. Again, that's probably not a realistic feed rate. I am feeding down. So at that point, I'm actually cutting. Yay, control S, new line. N85 space. I'm going to keep my GO1 active. And this time, we're going to move from 0.6 to 0.7. All right, so we're going to like mill this slot. All right, or are we? Some people would say milling that slot right now would be stupid. Actually, I want, don't want to show you the stupid way. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wrap it back out of that hole. I just basically use the end mill to plunge right here. So G00, and I'm going to go back to Z.1. Great. Now I'm up. New line in 90, and I'm going to go... G00 again, and I'm going to go to point number 7. Point number 7 still is X1. We're already there, but what the heck. Let's do it. And Z is going to be, or Y, excuse me. Doc and thinking lathe. Y is going to be 2.75. Yeah, 2.75. Yep, 
750. 750 from there to there plus 2, 2.75. Now, I'm in position. Great. In 100 space. Now I want to feed down G01. Hey, I'm not going to do all that crap. I'm going to do exactly what you should do. I'm going to copy. Copy anytime you can. Copy and paste. Because I'm going to do the same thing. So guess what? I just went ahead. Actually, let me show you something else. I'm just going to show you something else here. Because that's the way we do things. I'm going to copy both these lines. The problem is, yeah, that's what I thought. Notepad. So I'll copy one line at a time. Copy. Paste. Okay. New line in 105 space. I'm going to hit Control S. Haven't done that for a while. And now I'm going to go, let's just program it manually. G00 and back to Z.1. All right. So now I pulled out of that hole. New line in 110 space. Control S. What am I going to do now? Well, I'm already in rapid mode. So I'm going to rapid to. Now let's go to this. This was 0.7. Let's make sure we label that as 0.7. Control S again. Now I'm going to go ahead and rapid to what? Well, I'm going to rapid to 0.8, which is this point right here. Okay. Now all of this is these Y's and things like that. This is just, I use this as a teaching aid, so it's how to read prints too. You can figure this plus this subtracted from this will give you this. This plus this subtracted from that will give you that. This, okay, subtracted from this will give you that. Simple. All right. If you don't know how to read prints, you probably shouldn't even be watching this right now. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're back to getting to point number eight. So another just, I know I don't need the G00, but I'm keeping it there just again for keeping everybody straight. Uh, let me see. So what did we say that was? We said, uh, well, we're going to use a calculator. Yeah, calculator. So we got uh, 3 minus 1.75 equals 1.25. So, that's where I want to be, is x1.25. Let's take a look. Is that right? I don't know. We better do that again. So, I'm going to take 1 plus, I'll just do it all to 1 plus 0.75 equals this. Okay. So, that's it. 3 minus 1.75 equals that. So that's 1.25. So it's from here to there is 1.25. I got to add another inch plus an inch equals there's my x value. So I'll go back to here. You could have copied that. Matter of fact, I, at least you can't. I, I may not be able to. No, can't do it online. Of course not. Maybe edit and copy. Edit, copy. Let's see. Well, we'll just put our X there. I have an older version, excuse me, capital X, older version here. So it's X 2.25 and Y is going to be 1.5. We can see that it's given to us in a straight line dimension there. So Y 1.5. Now I'm in position, new line in 115 space. Well, we want to feed down G01. I'm just going to copy. Yes, sir. I like to copy. Copy them if you do it right. Saves you lots of time. Also saves you errors. Okay. Got two GO1s there. Do not need that. That would give me an error for sure. Okay. Let's hit uh, delete. See what happens. Nope. There we go. Okay. Control S. So now I fed down. Basically going ahead and producing that hole. Now we're almost done. That's right. So it's a pretty simple little part. Of course, it's not realistic. We're not using cutter comp. We're not using the right feeds. We're not using the right speeds. We're just giving you the basic idea of how we're moving around from one place to the other. Now this, I'm going to go back up here, make sure that we all understand that is 0.8. Control S. Very good. I moved to 0.8. So there we go. I can go back up here and keep everybody straight. That's 0.1 to 0.1 as well. <laughs> Control S. All right, very good. Okay, so we want 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, back to 1, then to 6, then to 7, then to 8. Now, what we've done is we just plunged here, we plunged here, we plunged here. 
plunge milling is drilling with an end mill, all right? Uh, specifically, you're going to need what's known as a center cutting end mill to do that. Uh, I can show you pictures of those later on if we need to, but basically the, the bottom line is they've got to be able to cut all the way through. Some end mills are not center cutting. If you look at the end of the end mill and the blades don't go all the way across or there's a hole at the end of the end mill, you can, it's not a center cutting end mill. You can't plunge with it. Bad things will happen. Life won't end, but bad things will happen. All right. So let's get back to this. New line. N, 1, 2, 0. All right. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to wrap it back. G, 0, 0. I'm going to be wrapping back to this point right here, which what, what was point? Was point one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to wrap it back to point six. Look at here. I, I didn't even do all. I can just copy. So here, let me do something back. Since I've already got point six here, copy, yeah, paste. All right. So I'm back where I need to be. New line, control S, if you haven't done that. Control S saves it, by the way, just in case. I, I know my students already know that. but Now, this is made for my students. This is not really made for anybody else. So if you don't like it, you can comment. I'm just not, I'm just going to delete your comments because I don't care. I'm not getting paid by to do it for you. If you enjoy it, good for you. All right, so I'm in position. Now, guess what? Well, I'm going to wrap it down. I'm just going to copy this. See, anytime you can copy and paste, do it. It saves you so much time. This is the way to, okay, to uh, efficiently program. Now, there's one other people who program faster than me. Good for them. Now, the Geo 1 is still active. I don't have to program it, but I am. Now, I'm going to go ahead and feed mill, 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 mill. I'm going to cut this slot out. Not realistically. I wouldn't do it like this, but again, we're just practicing. Uh, so I'm going to go to that one, which was point, I believe, 7, wasn't it? Let me see. Yeah, that was 6. Yeah. So I can go back here and say point 6. We wrap it into point 6. Control S. Then we fed down. Now we're going to mill to point 7. Which here's my coordinates point seven. Da, 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 da. See how this is cool about labeling them. See? Copy. Paste. <laughs> Control S. Yeah. Guess what? Now you're going. There's a problem here. Actually, there is no problem here. I have a feed rate. The feed rate's modal. I really don't need to program it again. I so if you want to be efficient, don't have to, but we're just learning. Control S. So I just milled from there to there. New line. So in one, three, five space. Uh, I'm going to do another G zero zero this time. Actually, I'm not going to do that at all. I'm just going to wrap it back up. So where's that at? It's right here. Anytime we wrap it back up, G zero zero Z point one. Copy. Paste. All right, G zero zero Z point one. So I pulled out of the hole. Very good. New line in one forty space. Control S. Now I'm going to go to what? Well, you know what? I'm not going to go to any place because after I milled to that hole and wrapped it up here to point one, I have effectively completed this part. Now, would this really work? I mean, if this was some sort of weldment or something like that, absolutely. You know, where clearances and tolerances don't matter, it would probably work. It would not work here. Everything would be smaller by half the diameter of the cutter. So I would lose 250 on this side, 250 on this side, 250 here, 250 here, 250 here. Later on, we're going to use cutter comps, so the machine actually comps for the diameter uh, or actually comping the radius, but we're going to call it diameter comp. Anyway, it will comp for it, and it will move it off to one side or the other. G41, G42, we'll talk about those later on. Let's finish this up. So at this particular point, hit Control s again, just in case. Uh, I'm at G00Z.1. I'm just sitting there. What, I want to, what do I want to do? Well, remember, if a good friend, the G28, well, if you don't, now don't put a U0, a W0. Don't put a U0 and a W0, just a G28. Now, here's how the G28 works on a mill. 
it's going to send the machine home, which is usually its tool change position on most machines. Not all, but most. All right. So while I'm a hundred thousandths by the part, maybe I have some clamps around there. So I want to move the axis up a little bit further. So if I go Z, let's say a clamp jump of four inches. What it'll do, this G28 right here, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to wrap a Z up to four inches. Then all three axes are going to go home, X, Y, and Z at the rapid feed rate. Yay, that sounds great to me. See, that's a nice little safety feature there. That's how the G28 works on a, on a mill as versus a lathe. Okay, I got another line here to do. So what are we going to do here now? Well, we want to go ahead and start ending it up. Now, a lot of people want to put all kinds of other things in here, like an MO5 to shut the spindle off. You don't need to, or coolant off. You don't need to do that on most machines. Now, later on, we'll add some more stuff. I'm not going to give you a whole bunch of stuff at first. So I'm just going to hit my M30 right here. And then, of course, the almighty percentage sign. Don't forget that. Control S. Hey. Now that's pretty good. Now I'm not going to post all of this. I'm just going to post this as you know your beginning, and you're going to populate the rest of this. Of course, you could copy. That's fine. You're just hurting yourself. Uh, this right here, I probably should also put that was 0.7. So let's do that. Yeah, because we milled, we fed down a mill to 0.7. So let's go over this real quick, and I mean quick. Safety line does everything. Rapid XY plane, inches, cut, cancel any cutter comp, cancel any can cycles, put it in absolute. Activate my work offsets. Change my tool to a 500,000 sin mill. Start my spindle at 1,000 RPM. Okay. Activate my tool length offset by giving it a G43, moving Z to one inch above the part, and remember the H number and the T number have to be the same. The H number and the T number have to be the same. The H number and the T number have to be the same. Ah, really. Turn the coolant on, okay? We're gonna wrap it, then I'm rapid. I'm still in rapid. I could put the G00 there. You know what, I just will, just to keep everybody straight. So I wrap it at two X0, Y0, 100, that's about, hundred thousandths above the part, hundred thousandths here, turn the coolant on. Uh, I apologize I'm going so fast people, but I have to take care of a crippled child and do this at the same time. Yay, working from freaking home. Screw the damn coronavirus. I want to say something else, but since I'm a college professor, I can't use the language that I would prefer. Okay. <laughs> so we went into there, we fed Z down, then I moved to point two milled the point 2 then I milled right here point 3 then I milled the point 4 right here then I milled the point 5 right here then I milled back to point what I milled back to point 1 so I completed the outside contour yay wrap it at Z up get it out of there move it over to point 6 here fed it down I always plunge 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 mill now, in reality, how would I do that? I would center drill, center drill, step drill, step drill, plunge with an undersized end mill, plunge with an undersized end mill, come in with an undersized end mill, mill up all the way, bring it back out, plunge with an on-size end mill, mill all the way up there, bring it back out, and you'll have a sexy slot. Now, replay it. I've done it a thousand times. All right, so we did our profile. So here we're going to point six. So we again rapid it to 0.6 right here fed z down remember 2.5 okay that uh, plunged our first hole rapid z back up moved to 0.7 right here again fed down very good all right rapid z back up then moved over to my last hole here rapid 0.8 that's 0.8 right there fed down Rapid, okay, fed down, and at this point, here is a mistake. See, this is the good thing about doing this kind of stuff, because this is a mistake right here. At this point, I have Z down, guess what? Okay, oh, it's not a mistake, because I'm getting ready to mill. Right. No, I didn't wrap it back up, because I, I marbled it over, I fed back down. I did not wrap it back up. This would have been a bad thing. So 
Here's the beauty one. One, one, six. I needed to wrap it back out of that hole. So, G, zero, zero. Hopefully some of you caught that. Z, point one. So, because I fed down at point eight, that was that hole right there. Now I wrap it back up, wrap it back over to point six, right? Fed back up to what? Well, I had fed back up to point seven. That means I milled, wrapped it out, called my G28. Let's remember what a G28 is sends all the axes home. Now, I'm a hundred thousandths above the part. I really didn't. Some people go, why the Z point is 4.0? Remember, there could be clamps or something in the way. So it's just a good idea. What will happen is it will move to Z 4, point, 4 inches above the part as fast as it can. Then all three axes just go home. As always in M30, remember that's going to that's gonna turn your coolant off in most machines. That's going to turn your spindle off in most machines. You don't have to reactivate, okay? You don't have to deactivate these uh, this tool length offset just yet. Later on we'll talk about that. We could always put a G43 up here if you wanted to. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's just do it. Won't hurt anything. Control S. Now if anybody ever left that uh, tool length act, not a G43, excuse me. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to look that code up. Doesn't matter. Leave it like that for right now. Because like I said, I'm taking care of a crippled child and I have no idea what he's doing. I have to check on him constantly. All right. So that ought to work. Now, if you find any errors, don't bother telling me about them. Do it the right way. <laughs> but there you go. There's a good thing. Like I said, I'm going to post that. Control S. Yeah, putting a G43 up there would not work. What? I have to find up that G code that cancels tool length offsets. And I don't know what it is. Later on, we'll show you a proper tool, you know, just like putting MO1s in there and tool changes and things like that. But that ought to get you going. All right, it's long enough. I'm going to go ahead and...